Hey, come on, Cluffy, it's not time yet, you know. Ah, we can carry her before, but not now with Bob away. Here, I know Clock Watcher. Mm. When are we going to get another lad? That's what I want to know. Hey, Cluffy, how many more times? Look, we won't get anybody for Bob unless they make it permanent. It's just an attachment he's on, do you see? You can take your scarf off for a start. Yeah, we won't see Bob again. I've seen it all before. What are you all about? Oil and water. Oil and water what? Oil and water. All friendships drift apart. Ah, Cluffy, you don't have to talk a load of junk. Now, listen, Terry, I know what I'm saying. It's them and us. There's them one side of the fence and us on the other. Oh, I see. Once he's trod the corridors of power, you mean, over there in the drawing office. Now, you mark my words. These were switch man of success, is that it, Cluffy? That's it. Three all levels. Probably Mario Ellison's daughter. Well, somebody's daughter he's got enough to choose from. It's a regular tash mine over there, you know. Gee, I might put in for that myself. Not you, Cluffy, you're not the executive type. Oh, I don't know. He's young, ambitious, willing to travel. He yeah, that's me all over. Keen. He hasn't got a daughter. Who hasn't? Old Ellison. I don't think he's got a daughter for Marion. Hey, there was a fellow last week and he said... <laughs> Seven point nine, he's slipping. <laughs> oh, well, he had to have his dinner, didn't he? He's having his best on Mondays. Is he coming? No, I think I'll go over and wait for Bob. Watch the girls coming out. Oh, I. You want to watch yourself, you know. You never get to see a factory lad. Probably tear all your clothes off. You reckon? Gee, I wish I'd changed my underwear. <laughs> Choosing this world. Yeah, I never knew there was so much tash in the office. There's some honeys. Yeah, they won't look at us. You speak for yourself. Well, she's not bad. Right, wouldn't say no. These are the typists. All oh, right. Guess it's you I'm looking at, darling. Ah, oh, you'd be all right there. Do you come here often, Blakey? You know it's all, don't you? Oh, well, I'll finish later on you. Give us a fight, Terry. No, I've given them up. Since when? Since you came over. Hey, this is the lot you want to watch out for. The cream. I mean, the type is hard enough to get, but the secretaries, ah, they're the untouchables. Not them as untouchable, mate, it's you. <laughs> I tell you, don't stand a chance. Ah, rich. Yeah, this is the heavy brigade. Hello, <laughs> Johnny. Yeah, I tell you, though, you don't stand a chance. None of us blokes are getting near them in a the month of Sundays. You know? I don't believe it. That's Bob and he'll see with. Oh, I'm probably fixing up our dates tonight. I told him to arrange it. You're yeah. kidding. Ah, oh, you jammy pair. Oh, shove off, please. <laughs> you are. Shove off. All oh, right, that's the way you want it. Here's a fine. Oh, leave us alone, man, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, of course. Uh, watch it, kid. Eh? It's me, Terry, remember? Oh, yes. Um, this is my friend Terence. This is Miss Francis. Hello, Hello. Terry. And it's Judith, by the way, Bob. Are you to tell Anne? Oh, as you do. I won't shake hands. They're a bit mucky. Oh, yes, <laughs> they are, aren't they? Yeah, uh, Miss... I mean, Judith is uh, Mr. Holgate's secretary. He's my boss-like. Oh, Bob, I'm sure it must all be very strange for you at first. And what do you do, then? Oh, I work in personnel. We keep all your personal details in the office. All of them? Well, almost. She means religion, things like that. Oh, I wonder if you had details of my operation, that was all. Well, I don't know. I'll have to look you up, won't I? Calling a tea, assembly shop. Yes, well, I think we'd better exactly be making What do you a... do in the assembly shop? Do you sort of assemble things? No, we uh, put them together. <laughs> you poor thing. Yes, it's very exhausting. Yes, well, it's 20 oh, to 6. Girls, um, Hello, Bill. I wondered where you got to. My well, car's just round the corner. I'll drop you off if you like. Yes, that'd be lovely. Who's this? Rep. What? Rep, salesman. Do you know, I had one of those dreadful business lunches today. Mm. I'm still feeling the effects. Still, it's all on expenses. <laughs> Are you ready, then? I don't want to drag you away or anything. Oh, well, we were just going anyway. Good night, Judith. 
Oh. <laughs> Who's this, Judith? Your latest protege? Uh, Bob's just started working in the drawing office. How exciting. What does the other one do? I'm in public relations. Oh, really? <laughs> Shall we go, then? We'll have a drink on the way Good night, boys. Good night, Terry. Terry, I will. <laughs> Good night, Judith. Eee. What? Good night, Judith. Ah, oh, shut up. Goes to work at nine and by 5.30 he's in love. Ah, oh, come on. You've got some competition, I see. Who was that twit, anyway? His name's Bill Nesbitt. Mm -hmm. Can I give you a lift, girls? In the firm's car, I suppose. Have they all been like that today? No, most of the reps are very good blokes. I mean, you get his sort anywhere, don't yeah, you? Hey, they were all like those two, though. Oh, that's Sally Ann. Right, oh, but you were pushing it a bit, mine. It's not like tapping up taggies at the Roxy, you yeah, know. Yeah, I saw you get into another. What's the matter? They loved it. Yeah, maybe, but you ought to use a little finesse. Finesse? Oh, there's a good word for you. I'm becoming a source of social embarrassment to you, don't oh, it? Don't be stupid, man. I thought it was a good idea you were going to the office, but I'm not so sure, not with twits like Nibbit around. Nesbit. Well, whatever he is. <laughs> anyway, you can come and meet them all for yourself on Friday. There's an office social I can take a friend. Hey, will those two be there, the debutantes? Oh, I, I expect so. Don't get all excited, though. Women like that are never gay. Yeah, you never know. What's all this, then? Oh, it's some work to give you. I've got a look at it tonight. Your own work? It's worse than being at school. Where's your bike? I didn't bring me bike. I'm not messing up these pants with cycle clips. Hey, I never noticed before. The best suit. New shirt? No. No, it's not new. <laughs> Very nice. I've had this shirt a long time. When a mother cares, it shows. <laughs> hey. Ah, oh, shove off. Come on, anyhow, let's go out the swift off. No, I, I, I'm not coming out for a drink. You're wrong, you are. I need a drink after standing here. Yeah, well, I should look at these papers. Oh, I don't know what is he worried about. Your new image. Well, don't worry, Bob. We'll go into the saloon. I'll leave me bike round the back. Yeah, but... Well... a bit under the arm this morning. I feel it. Had the pump last night, were you? You wouldn't chuckle. Hey. What? I've just found the roof of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been a rough night with Bob, were you? Aye. Oh, he's still speaking to you, is he? None of us could speak when we got home last night. <laughs> How's he getting on, anyhow? Oh, not so bad. He's in love again, mine. Oh, uh, The boss's secretary this time. Good old Bob. Hey, Cluffy, what have you been stirring this tea with, you ratchet? Oh, never did. It tastes <laughs> like it. Of course, it's coffee in the office, you know. Waited on more than likely. Sounds all right to me. Hey, what's his boss like? Old Allgate. Well, you know, Bob, charm anybody with that little boy smile of his. Come on, Phyllis, we haven't got all morning, you know. <laughs> I've been queuing up, you nit. You what? Uh, just coming, Mr. Holgate. <laughs> now then, what's this? Black with cream? No cream. Oh, where the hell's the black with sugar? We're waiting, Mr. Oh, Ferris. Yes, um, just just coming, sir. You should have had that by now. Yes, uh, 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 I won't be a minute, sir. Oh. What's this? Oxtail soup. <laughs> I was second last time out. Doesn't like the rain, though. But of course, doesn't suit him. Still, he's a good horse, though, Cluffy. You back him to it. Go on, reckless. That's your trouble. Come on, Cluffy. It's gone one o'clock. You should be on it. Well, I've just finished my dinner. Didn't you go to the canteen? No, I brought some sandwiches, did you? Hey, you're not backing that. No, I went to the canteen. It gets worse every day. I can't stand fish in the I bet they don't get that rubbish in the staff canteen. No, they got a good nosh there, man. Three choices and all. Oh, that'll suit Bob. Likes his food, does Bob. I don't know where he puts it. Ah, he's a gutsy basket. <laughs> what are you going to lunch, Bob? What? Oh, no, I, I don't usually have lunch myself. I'm not a big eater. Really? I always prefer just to stay here and have a sandwich. Yes, I prefer it here. You seem to have had a very busy morning. Well, I wish old Olgate thought that. Oh, I'm sorry. I know he's your mate, uh, your boss, like, I mean. I know what he's like, Bob. He can be very difficult at times. Still, you'd rather be here on the whole, though, wouldn't you? Oh, I mean, yeah. you don't regret the move, do you? No, no. Um, would you like a sandwich? 
No, really, I, I couldn't. Oh, hello, Judith. Hello. You don't, uh, you don't get paid overtime in the office, you know. I'm aware of that. Have you finished eating? I thought we'd go for a walk. All right, I'll get my coat. I suppose you're going on Friday night. What's this? Oh, it's the night of the year. The office social, you can't miss that. Oh, that? Yeah, probably. Aye, but there won't be much there, I warn you. What? Spare. Talent. I mean, most of the decent girls have regular boyfriends. And those who don't range from nil to desperandum. <laughs> oh, I, well, anyway, I suppose I shall be taking a friend. Oh, aye. Right. Are you sure you won't have a sandwich, Bob? Oh, uh, oh, no, really. Come on, then, love. Hey, I try and get that work done tonight if you can, Bob. You know what Oho gets like. Yeah, I'm definitely getting it done tonight. Come on. So, Einstein, still working on your theory, you're coming for a pint. How did you get it? The door's on the snip. Where's your man? Bingo. Close the door on your way out. I thought you might fancy coming out tonight. I'm working. Ah, oh, just a swift hour. Ah. We had a swift half on Monday night. I got in at quarter to ten for me tea. We had a swift half last night. I got in at midnight. <laughs> I believe we had a swift half on Tuesday night, but I can't remember the details of that evening. <laughs> tonight I'm working. All work and no play, Bob. Well, this should have been in on Monday. <laughs> Dave Clark? Look, do you mind? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Bob, who am I? I don't care. Come on, Bob, come on, who am I? Come on, quickly. Dusty Springfield. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. <laughs> Boom. Tell me Surprise me. Polo, the Duke of Edinburgh. <laughs> I think you must be after one of his awards. <laughs> Today I stopped doing something I have been doing for years. Here, give us that. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob, there was this bloke, you see, and he went to the... And he went to the doctors and he said, it's my arms, doctor. They're turning into horses' hooves. Ha, ha. <laughs> when did you hear that? Years ago. It's as old as the hills. Oh, I hadn't heard it before. <coughs> the one about prescriptions? Yes. Oh, I only heard it the other day. Moriardacre told me. <laughs> oh, that was very funny, actually. Dive, dive, dive! <laughs> Achtung, Achtung! Achtung! Here, give us that! Oh, sorry, Bob, I didn't know you needed that. Well, I do. Hey, this takes you back. I still remember my theorems. The square on the right angle of the hypotenuse is equal to the equilibrium and two bob each way up and down doubles. <laughs> Look, Terry, sit down and shut up. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. Not another word. Where were you on the night of the party? <laughs> Look, shove up, man, will you? Pack it in and oh, shove up. Sorry, man, just like one of them. Look, <laughs> you might as well get this into your thick head. I'm on this course and I mean to do well at it. If I'm going to stay in the office, I've got to work. Oh, you're staying now, are you? I hope I am. I've had enough of the factory in the office. I've got prospects. Not with that Judith, you haven't. It's got nothing to do with Judith. Yeah. I just happen to want to give the office a try, that's all. And if you want to louse it up, you're going the right way about it. Oh, come on, Bob, I don't want to do that. It's been on the thrash every night this week. Well, I can't force you out on the pot now, can I? I didn't say that, did I? But you know what I mean. I just want a chance to get on. No, oh, I just want to get on, do you? And turn into another giblet. 
Niblets. Nesbitt! <laughs> Look, forget him. I told you, they're not all like him over there. And if you're coming to that do on Friday night, you best behave yourself. Oh, I see. Well, I won't jeopardise your career any further, Robert. I'm off to the Black Horse. Right. You better get on with your sums. Your maths were never so hot. Oh, shove off, you great loon. And your English always <laughs> left a lot to be desired and all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Well, you can't have been here all, all that long. You still got your coat on. Well, it's a bit parky, that's all. Well, come on, let's get a move on. Hey, listen! What? The music man! You didn't tell me they got Count Basie. Right. No, no, I tell a lie. It's not Count Basie. It was the piano that fooled me. It's Terry Taylor and his Terrace Tea Room Tentet. Well, he didn't have to come. Oh, we'll be all right. Come on, get a move on. I want a few beers. Like when I do the Valita after a couple of pints. Hey, listen to that. Deck your back. <laughs> what are you grinning at? What? What's that stupid grin on your face? Well, what? nothing, though. Well, there's obviously something amusing you. What's the matter with you? Not amusing me. Come on, let's go in. Right. <laughs> Did you say something? No, man, that's all. Right. What's all this? It's the Contiki Suite. Oh, I was all the grass skirts then. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go and have a drink. Yeah, you won't get a pint here, you know, mate. Coconut juice. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking of having a pint in any case. Well, I suppose with all this gear on, you want a vodka martini. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with having something different for a change? I might have a sherry. Or a gin and tonic. I might even try a cocktail. Oh, I see. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, I'll compromise. I'll have a beer with a cherry in it. <laughs> a gin and tonic, please, and uh, a uh, pint. Yeah, you look like a bouncer at the Roxy. <laughs> you might not have noticed, but most of us are in evening dress. Yeah, but most of you left your mothballs behind. You smell like a wardrobe. <laughs> You don't half fancy yourself. Why not? You might be all right if you had a 3.4 parked outside. I'm not so sure. How are you getting on with that Judith bit, anyway? You wouldn't understand. She's very sweet. Anything there? Oh, it's not like that at all. <laughs> She's just very pleasant, that's all. All oh, right. I'll tell you one thing. If I got that Sally under myself, she'd be more than just pleasant. <laughs> you are crude. Anyway, she's with a fella, Roger somebody. Well, where is he then? You know, I suppose he's one of them at the other end of the bar. Oh, down there with Twiglet and that lot. That's rude, that. What? Leaving the women on their own. Come on, let's go and talk to them. Hey, look, Terry, now, behave yourself. Don't you worry, mate. I can behave myself. Are you coming? Evening. What? Hello, Terry. Hello, Bob. Hello. Good evening, Judith. Have you been deserted, then? Oh, well, you know what they're like when they meet their cronies. Oh, that's no way to treat them, is it, Bob? No. Well, perhaps you'd better sit down and look after them. Oh, well, well I don't arrange that. that. Uh, what's in your glass? Uh, are you going to have another whatever it is? No, thanks. Bill's getting them. At least he's supposed to be. Are you sure? It is round. No, it is not. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Would you like something? No, really. He looked very smart, Bob. Oh, thank you. Just a little something he ran up. <laughs> Terry? Rough. Our thing's in the card school. The card school? Oh, I see what you mean. Have you looked mine up yet? No. But one day before I leave, I'm going to get all the cards, shuffle them together, and see where everyone lands up. Both sexes all together, like? Yes, of course. That's the whole idea. Oh, well, I've got a good deal. Here we are. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Roger's met some of the boys. Bob's brought his friend Terry over. Oh. When he said he was bringing a friend, I had something more feminine in mind. On my ball gowns to let the cleaners. <laughs> Look, girls, um, we won't be a minute. We won't be a minute. We're just having a drink with some of the boys. Some of the boys. It's not worth going on. Mm -hmm. Things never start before now. Uh, do you want another drink here, or do you want to go to the Rugger Club? Oh, the Rugger Club. <laughs> <laughs> will you excuse us a minute? Come here. <laughs> Look, pack in, will you, Terry? Me? Pack what in? You know full well. Now, let me tell you something, mate. You may look like a stuffed penguin, but there's no need to act like one. Well, if you're going to be rude... Oh, about snap it, out of it, Bob. We're all right with these two. Don't be daft. I'm serious. Be yourself. 
They've never been out with blokes like us. They love it. It's like heiresses and lorry drivers. <laughs> lorry drivers? Yeah, you play your card right, mate. You get the story in the Sunday papers. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Come on, then. Just as long as you're all right. Yeah, but they're with blokes. You're not afraid of Piglet, are you? That's fine. <laughs> we'll stay. And I bet Roger the Lodge is not much competition either. Hello, what's happening, then? <laughs> What did I tell you? We're staying here. We'll go up in another hour. Oh, jolly good. Vic Khan's just got his round in. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. What did you say? I said, Take your time, mate. Don't rush. I don't see what it's got to do with you two. How long I take? It's only a joke. I don't care what it is. Anyway, haven't you two arranged to meet anyone? No. no. We've got no one. Just each other. <laughs> well, look. Uh, I think you ought to drink somewhere else. Oh, please, Billy. Do you mind, Judy? Right? right? What for? It's not bad here. Mind you, the beer's a bit pricey, I grant you, but it's not a bad drop. Look, I'm not making an issue out of this. I'm just telling you. Go away. Oh, honestly, Bill! Oh, well, I know what I'm not wanted. Shall we go for the dance then, Bob? Yes. I think that would be very sensible. And while your uh, men friends are still boozing, perhaps uh, we can have the first dance, eh? Why, you little punk. And what have I said now? I've a good mind to thump your gut. You and who else? Jolly Roger. Oh, Bill, do take a great thing out of this. Did you call? Some of them to drink. Oh, that's very nice of you, Roger, too, Pat. <laughs> I'll handle this, Judith. Cake or cooking? Oh, for heaven's sake, Roger. Anyhow, are we going to this dance or not? Wait a minute. Don't you work in the factory? Yes. Roger. Ask Mr. Allgate to step over, will you? Yes, but you... Just get Mr. Allgate, will you? Bill, please. I think you girls had better keep out of this. But this is absolutely ridiculous. Well, you mustn't be jealous. You can have a dance with me later on. <laughs> you won't be doing any dancing tonight. I've brought fixed drink over, Bill. Is there any trouble here? No trouble, Mr. Allgate. This fella is just under the illusion that he's going to the dance. He works at the factory. Oh, well, in that case, I'm afraid you can't. Yes, but he's come here as my guest, sir. Yes, well, I'm sorry about that, Ferris, but this is specifically an office social. Well, office blokes go to factory dances. Oh, forget it, Bob. Let's go. Yes, I appreciate that. Well, then. Well, as I said before, this is a social dance for the office staff. You can stay, of course, Ferris. What? I wouldn't come to your crummy dance. Now, there's no need to take that tour. Let's forget it, Bob. Come on, let's go. Well, it makes you sick. You bring a friend Look, along. I tried to explain to you. You're only making things more difficult for yourself, Ferris. Look, if this is the way you run your office, you can keep your dance and your drawing board and you can shove them up your... Ferris, I'll see you on Monday morning. <laughs> see me? You'll have to come round the factory then because Monday morning I'll be back in assembly. Oh man, don't drop yourself in. Drop myself in? I'm getting myself out right now. Ferris! Hey, and another thing. Your rotten coffee machine don't work. <laughs> come on, Mr. Olgate. Hey, I'm sorry, mate. Oh, that's all right. Don't you be sorry, Terry. Yeah, but I started it in. You, you, you shouldn't have jacked it in. Oh, I should have done it sooner. I can't draw anyway. Oh, but you said yourself, the prospects. Oh, don't you worry about it, Terry. It's all right with me. Honest? Honest. There's easier ways of getting on. We'll go into business together. We'll buy up Edison's and sack Niblet. <laughs> Only thing I'm sorry about is having that scene in front of the girl. Yeah. It was unpleasant, that. Only thing I'm sorry about is that old kicking old Nesbitt's teeth in. Yeah, I've been dying to do that all week. Here, help us on with this, will you? I feel a right knit in this suit. Oh, you look very smart, Bob. Liar. Come on, let's go and have that pint. I need one. Let's go down the Black Horse. Aye, gracious living. We've never been to the Black Horse. <laughs> <laughs> what? They don't want to take us to the Black Horse, Judith. Oh, we'd love to, wouldn't we, Yeah, Bob? of course we would. Well, I don't think any of us want to stay in this place, do we, Bob? No, you don't meet a very nice type of person. Yeah, well, you don't exactly get the cream of society at the Black Horse. Well, that's all right, any way you suggest. Well, there's not much around here. Oh, don't worry about transport. Daddy let me have the car tonight. Would you get it for me, Terry? It's round the back. It's nine. R.M.T. Uh, yes, well, I've, I've just had my license suspended. Well, all right, we'll meet you here in two minutes, OK? Don't run away. Don't worry, we'll be here. What did I tell you? <laughs> it's not you, man. It's me suit that did it. Ah, get away. <laughs> yeah, what was all that about licenses? Well, we'd look the right pal, wouldn't we? Neither of us able to drive. Oh, aye. And them taking us for lorry drivers. Come on. <laughs>